guess I was wondering if it if they weren't going to be treating you the same, would it just be worth it for more people to just not take the LSAT flex at all and just kind of wait? Because we are already late into this 2020 cycle that you like to me, I guess I would just think, okay, well maybe I'll just, just take it in the fall and just use this summer to have even more time to study and take the regular LSAT. But I guess it kind of just depends on, on you personally, right? It's, it's not. Yeah. It's really just a matter of personal preference and nothing more. And if you're, concerned about the ambiguity of not knowing which format you're going to get, the simplest solution is probably just to wait because mm -hmm. on a long enough timeline, the odds of COVID affecting things hopefully reduces. And so I would think that October, November, January are much more likely to be in person, but it's really honestly anybody's guess. Looking out yeah. now as we're speaking in mid-June, I think even the August LSAT at the end of the month will probably be a flex just because things have not recovered back nearly back to normal in most of the country. So I think we'll see that one be a flex, but ultimately, you know, these are format changes in terms of how it's delivered, but the content is still the same. So mm -hmm. all the questions are all of the same difficulty, games, reading, comp, reasoning, they're all pretty much meant to be the same. And so I wouldn't worry too much about that overall. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.